In this video, we are going to see about prepositions. In this video, we are going to see about prepositions. Uh, here, I'll give you a simple definition of preposition. Preposition is nothing but a word used to link a nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. Uh, for example, in other words, preposition is defined as a preposition of a noun, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. The act to connect the people's subjects, times, and location of a sentence. Prepositions are usually a so short words and they are normally placed directly in front of nouns. In some cases, you will find preposition in, in front of gerund verbs also. Additionally, it serves the most frequently words which I mentioned here above, across, against, along, among, around, at, before, behind, below, beneath, beside, be between, of, on, to, towards, and there are so many prepositions which is available in English. In fact, it is interesting to note that prepositions are a closed class of words in English language. And it is important to know that there are two very important rules to remember while using prepositions. The first rule is to Make sentence clear, specific preposition are needed. For example, the preposition in means one thing and the preposition on cannot substitute for in all cases. Some preposition are interchangeable but not always. You have to know the difference between in and on. For example, if I give a sentence, I want to see in the house and I want to see you on the house. What is the difference between in and on? In the sentence in, I want to see in the house, which means I want to see you inside, which means you should go through the door, walk inside and stand in the hall or living room. In the other sentences on the house, which means you would need to get a ladder and climb to the roof where he would be on the top of the house. So you have to understand the basic difference between in and on. The second rule for using preposition is that prepositions are generally followed by nouns and pronouns. There was a time in past when teachers held strictly to those rules, but it made for some clunky sentences. Anyways. And the next slide, which is, okay, I'll give you a picture for a clear understanding. What does it mean? The preposition defines, see the difference between in, on, under, behind, in front of, above, below, between, and next to. And the ball shows the position, which means the position, pre-position of the noun or pronoun. That is what I already said in the first slide. And there are so many examples of prepositions. And here I gave the preposition of time definition. For example, Okay, uh, first, what the what does it mean? Preposition of time definition. A preposition of time helps to link the noun or pronoun and indicator as to what with the time value. It functions as point of time did not even occur. This is what the basic uh, definition of preposition of time. Is. The basic examples of preposition includes at, on, in, before, and after. They are used to help indicating when something happened, happens, or will happen. It can get a little confusing, but the but the examples will able to get you understand the proper and propositions. For example, yes, here I'll give you the example. The train is about an hour late. The classes begins at 
eight o'clock at eight o'clock. My birthday falls on Wednesday. On Wednesday, which means the day begins at eight o'clock, which means the time. India has been independent since nineteen forty-seven. Since these are all the definitions, and additionally, you may add if you know. For example, I was born in two thousand. I was born at exactly 12 a.m. I was born after the great war end and this is what the time reference. I hope so this example sentence makes it seem quite difficult but it's easy. The next one is preposition of movements. Here, I'll give you an additional picture which might help you the proper understanding of movements. A preposition of movement is used to show movement to or from a place, which is quite easy to understand as they are less abstract than preposition of place and time. Essentially, they describe how something or someone moves from one place to another. The most commonly used preposition of movement is to, which is usually serves to highlight that there is a movement towards a specific designation. Here, over the bridge or over the hill, under the bridge or under the table, along the street, along the river. And just see the difference between over, under and along. Just try to understand the difference by seeing this picture. And I'll give you some additional examples for preposition of movements. Down, past, into, behind, up, onto, through, off, over, on, across, at, by, for, after, towards. These are also the example prepositions for movement. And I'll give you the definitions examples also. The cat has climbed up a tree. Climbed up, up a tree. The children got off the bus, got off. She ran along the pavement. The bus goes towards the market. Let's try to understand where is the preposition and what this act is. And additionally, I might give some examples. He has gone on vacation to France. They will go to the zoo, to the zoo. She went to the bowling and these are the other more specific prepositions. And these prepositions can sometimes get mixed up with others. While they are similar, they have individual meaning that add context to the moment. And apart from moment, and there is an another preposition which plays preposition of place. To confuse matter a bit, the most common preposition to indicate time is on at in or also the most common preposition to indicate the position which means the place however the rules are little clear as place preposition are a more rigid concept than time preposition preposition of place examples and the uh, for example i'll give you a statement which is the cat is on the table the dog or in the kennel the cat is on the table, which means the position of the cat where he, where it is seated. We can meet at the crossroad. These are the simple examples which the preposition refers to place. And I might thought so this video will be able to understand and analyze the preposition in a better way. Thank you.